All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So this morning, Global got a new data download for the upcoming uh, future Gohan and Trunks celebration. So in today's video, we're going to be going over everything that we were able to learn from this data download. Now, real quick, before we get into it, I want to give a big shout out to my boy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all the assets. If you guys aren't already following him, then definitely go ahead and do so. And with that said, let's scroll down a little bit here. And uh, the first thing we're starting with is the promo video for the uh, new LR Super Saiyan Future Gohan and uh, Youth Future Trunks. So let me just pause my music and we'll full screen this. And here we go. Trunks, stay here, got it? Do not follow me. No. <sighs> Your humanity's last hope. Yep, so there you go, the LR Super Saiyan Future Gohan and Youth Trunks Exchange Unit is coming uh, next on Global. Um, I love these animations, man, I, I really do. Like, this guy has some of my favorite animations in the game, easily top five. Uh, they're very sad, very sad, given the context, but really awesome. Okay, so from there, let's keep going. Let me just uh, turn the music back on. And scrolling down a bit more, we have the assets for the uh, various forms of the LR, right? So this is the SSR form of the Gohan and Trunks. And then we have the TUR. And finally, the LR uh, Gohan and Trunks, as well as the Super Saiyan Future Gohan by himself after you perform the exchange. And we also have the Extreme Z Battle Event for the Fizz Super Saiyan Future Gohan Extreme Z Awakening, which is something that I've personally been very much looking forward to because uh, number one, it's really good, and number two, this unit is not that good without the Z8, so I'm excited to finally be able to use him again, right? So a little bit later, we'll talk about exactly what his uh, Z8 details are, but for now we have his Extreme Z Awakening medals right here, and we also have a new Super Battle Road stage, which is stage 52 for Joined Forces. Um, I'm not sure if I like this whole, you know, releasing one SBR stage at a time deal, you know, because like I'm so used to having 10 new stages at a time, right? So now we're getting one stage every so often. I guess the good thing is we're getting, you know, Super Battle Road stages more often because they're only releasing one as opposed to 10, so we don't have to wait as long in between, but I don't know, like, it's kind of exciting to get 10 new stages all at once, right? So anyways, this is apparently what they're doing now. They're doing one stage at a time, and uh, we're getting stage 52 joined forces for this new celebration. And after that, we're getting a bunch more awakenings for the remaining Dragon Ball Fusions units. This time it's for the uh, Int Celza, the Fizz Virus, uh, Tech Janembu, I think it's Fizz Chael Man, and also the STR Uliza. And they will have their uh, own separate Extreme Z battle event as well. Now, one interesting thing I've noticed is that on uh, JP, these guys got their Dokken Awakenings first, and then like a week and a half later, they got their Extreme Z Awakenings, right? But for Global, it seems like the Dokken Awakenings and the Extreme Z Battle Event slash Extreme Z Awakenings are all coming out at the same time because as you can see the release date for the Dokken Awakenings is February 22nd which is in about a week and a half and the release date for the Extreme Z Battle is also February 22nd so unless there's some kind of mistake the Dokken Awakening and the Extreme Z Awakening for these five summonable fusions units will be coming out at the exact same time. And it's not something that I necessarily mind, I don't really care, but it's just kinda different, right? 
And uh, on top of that, we're also getting a new Extreme Z area event for the free to play Dragon Ball Fusions units. The uh, Tekka, the Pinage, as well as the Yam Han, I think is what he's called. And of course, these are their uh, Extreme Z Awakening medals, and these are the Extreme Z area stages for each of the units. And scrolling down a little bit more here, we have uh, some additional assets for the uh, Summonable Fusions Extreme Z Battle Event. We got the Weirus, the Janembu, the uh, Chiao Man, and also the Koliza. And here are their Extreme Z Awakening medals as well, as you guys can see. So moving on from that, we have the next Extreme Z, or sorry, no, uh, Explosive Chain Battle, Explosive Chain Battle boss for Global, which is gonna be Android 17 and 18. Uh, you guys know how I feel about this event, but it's always nice to get some free stones and some, uh, you know, free skill orbs, so it's fine. And uh, I'll talk about, you know, exactly what you guys need to get a good score in a future video. For now, this is gonna be the next uh, explosive chain battle boss and we also have a couple of tickets here this is for the uh, future Gohan and Trunks banner it's gonna be a rising dragon carnival and I'm sure these will be you know available for purchase in the stone shop slash I mean I keep wanting to say Pilaf's Trove but it doesn't exist anymore so I guess it's just the uh, you know pack shop in the stone shop and we also have this power surge ticket which is um, honestly, I'm not 100% sure what this is for. I'm guessing it's kind of like, uh, maybe like a Blue Dragonstone kind of deal or like a beginner ticket kind of deal where you have a selection in the Baba Shop you can exchange this ticket for and it should be also a paid thing. So it's not really relevant for free to play players. But uh, yeah, these two tickets were also included in this data download. We have this new uh, Future Trunks support memory as well. And also a new uh, Bandai Namco ID linking system. It seems like it's just a new way to uh, back up your account instead of linking it to Google or Facebook. You can now create a Bandai Namco ID and uh, you know link your account to it to you know transfer your account between devices. But this is 100% uh, optional, so it's not something that you have to really worry about. And that is pretty much all there was to this data download, guys. Um, as far as the highlights go, you know, we got the LR Future Gohan and Trunks banner that's coming. We got a bunch of Awakenings for the remaining Dragon Ball Fusions units. And also a new Super Battle Road stage, a new uh, Explosive Chain Battle boss, and a new Extreme Z battle for the Fizz Super Saiyan Future Gohan. And uh, speaking of him, like I said, let's quickly go over his details before we get out of here. So jumping over to the Dokkan Wiki. Uh, let's start with his pre-EZA details. His leader skill was Future Saga Category Key plus 3, HP plus 130%, and Attack and Defense plus 170%. Super Attack raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and Passive is Attack plus 100%, raises Defense by up to 100%. The less HP remaining, the greater the Defense boost, and then Damage Received minus 10% at the start of every turn up to 50%. Now, with the Extreme Z Awakening, his new leader skill is Future Saga Category Key plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 170%, Super Attack greatly raises Attack and Defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and Passive is Attack plus 158% and raises Defense by up to 158%, the less HP remaining, the greater the Defense boost, reduces damage received by 30%, plus an additional Damage reduction of 7% at the start of each turn, up to 58%. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 120%, and medium chance of performing a critical hit when there is a Future Saga category ally whose name includes Trunks attacking in the same turn. So obviously, if you're running him, you want to make sure you bring a Future Saga Trunks on the team or, you know, as his linking partner to uh, maximize his potential. And that is the uh, Future Gohan EZA, guys. Like I said, he is, at his best, very, very good because he's going to hit hard. But he's also going to be getting a ton of defense um, when coupled with the damage reduction. He's going to be one of the better tanks in the game for sure. And uh, I'm excited to finally be able to use him again. So 
Um, that is gonna do it for the video, guys. That was the data download. Once again, a big, big shout out to my boy Proton10MG. Go and follow him. And uh, yeah, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.